one of these teams will leave here with 10 one will leave here with 7 and it will put both teams up the rankings with 4 tournaments to go so Dwayne Patterson it is to get us underway high hanging kick off but it's gone a little bit too far and it's been gathered in by Jaden. Gary Monroe feeds it out to Lewis Walker Lewis Walker gives it to Lewis Young Lewis Young content to go back to Robbie Shearer Gibb who in turns content to go back to Gillespie Jed deep inside their own 22 here but no panic as it stands at the moment straighten up there and it's the big forward James Walker who's off and running James Walker's got a man inside and that is the speedster the Kelso speedster is Kieran Hayes Kieran Hayes has got Dwayne Parson after him but Kieran Hayes has got too much pace and under the post he goes for his sixth try of the afternoon no less and first blood to Jed Neil yeah, good play by Jed. Kieran Hayes has actually been very good all afternoon. He's got a great, uh, great wheels on him, and he, he looks for. He's the, he's the best support running player on show today. He seems to run that inside channel all the time. He's always looking for it. A bit of power there from the big lad Walker. He just, you know, they were boxed into a corner with Kelso. Kelso were doing the right thing, and it was always going to take a, probably a bit of power or a kick to get out of there. And he went for power, and it worked. And a great pass to, to the lad Hayes, Kieran Hayes, and he, he scampers in for what gives Jed a, 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 a really good advantage early doors here. First blood to Jed, as I say. Kelso nil, Jed seven. Kieran Hayes, one of the top players on show here this afternoon. But good work, as Neil alluded to, by James Walker, this big, powerful new addition to the Jed ranks. And Gary Monroe with the kickoff. It's been taken in there by Tweedy of Kelso. So Kelso's first chance to mount anything in this final. It's Roberts on the far side. Roberts has a crack at Lewis Young, but Lewis Young's pulled him in. Is that going to come back on the Kelso side? Yes, it is. And it comes back to Tweedy. Tweedy's got Cowens. Cowens got Dwayne Patterson. Dwayne Patterson looking to direct traffic. There's a wee bit of play or a bit of crossing potentially, but the referee's happy enough as Tweedy came on the cut. And now it's Robson. Robson only knows one way, but he's been wrapped up that time by James Walker. He's met his match there. But the ball again is going to come back on the Kelso side through the legs back to Tweedy up and into the Jed half now Kelso and it's it's the big man the big powerful Cammy Brown who takes it and he's fed Tweedy and Tweedy's going to go in here and Kelso have hit straight back and look, looking at Ian like it's shaping up to be a bit, bit of a ding dong this one yeah I think this has got the, 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 the makings of an absolute cracker um, you know I think again it's this it's going to be the power aspect for me you know the power's going to have to come in first um, interesting one there it, it looked to me like um, Jed had basically knocked the ball backwards in the tackle um, absolutely fine play on so Kelso hits straight back Kelso 5 Jed 7 kick to come Dwayne Patterson one of the best kickers on show this afternoon but this is not the easiest effort by any stretch of the imagination over towards the far touchline here at Milntown struck it well Patterson and the flags go up straight away so in a final Neil where kicks could be crucial that's a, that, that's as, almost as good a kick as we've seen this afternoon yeah, I mean he's kicked a huge amount of points in National 1 this year so he can kick a ball and his kickoffs could be vital as well and uh, he, he has, hasn't hurt them all well uh, Dwayne but uh, it would certainly go a long way for Kelso if he could get these on the money but yeah good, good conversion there yeah, and Cammy Brown's come to the touchline for Kelso and, a, and an ice pack's gone straight down the back of the sock onto the calf, so we'll keep an eye on that. He's been a star performer for Kelso this afternoon, but the kickoff's gone the way of Jed, so Gary Monroe puts out to Lewis Walker. Lewis Walker, as he's done so often in the last year and a half, the dancing feet, but he's wrapped up, or he's, he's at least partially stopped there by Frankie Robson, comes back to Gillespie. Gillespie to Robbie Shearer Gibb, just outside the Jed 22. Now Gary Monroe. Gary Monroe's got Lewis Young. Lewis Young comes on the cut. Lewis Young straightens and goes up the middle. Cuts inside again and goes Lewis Young and he's off and running here. Well, Lewis Young's got Dwayne Parson and Dwayne Parson's quick. So Lewis Young comes back inside. Gary Monroe palms it back. Darren Gillespie. No rush from Gillespie. That's oh, gone a mile forward. forward. Oh, yeah, the referee's going to bring them back. It, you could see Darren Gillespie winding that one up from here. It was going to be the longest pass of the afternoon. That's probably one of the first times we've seen today that there wasn't another Jed player up in support. And Kelso have won the scrum and it's come back on the Kelso it's come back on the Kelso side. It looked like Jed might have nicked that, but it's back in the hands of Frankie Robson. Frankie Robson palms off a Jed player there with a strong handoff. Now it's back in the hands of Tweedy. Tweedy and Kelso have got now got a man over on the far side. 
Lewis Young's the, the Jed defender and it comes back in there to Roberts and it's a foot race now between Ro- Roberts and Young and Young's going to get back and Rob- Robbie Shearer gives back as well but Kelso, oh there's been a shot to the head of Lewis Young there the referee is awarded a penalty to Jed it was Tweedy that came flying in there and that it's only going to be a penalty Kelso not back 10 so they're going to be marched back 10 now and Jed have gone quickly through Gillespie Gillespie to James Walker James Walker plays the power game takes a couple of defenders but Dwayne Patterson's in over the ball as he held on to it too long no not releasing so another penalty to Jed and again Gillespie takes it 20 Jed still in their own half but they come with Robbie Shearer Gibb to Lewis Walker now to Lewis Young Lewis Young's recovered from that head knock he's got Gary, Young, Gary Monroe rather on this near touchline for company but takes it into the contact and it's won back by Jed now it's in the hands of Robbie Shearer Gibb again to Gillespie Gillespie's been outstanding for Jed this afternoon and again he takes it and feeds Hayes Hayes well marshalled that time and he needs to be because the gap had opened up but it was closed pretty quickly by the Kelso defence Jed still in possession up into the Kelso half Lewis Walker showing the kind of footwork that he's been accustomed to lets it go while held in the tackle so Gary Monroe's in possession now to Lewis Young Lewis Young weighs up the options again Jed content to play the patient games here back to Walker back to Gillespie Gillespie looks to wind up another long pass but again takes it into the contact this time rather than throwing it so Jed still in possession but they've held on that fraction too long and the Kelso bench are delighted by that Bruce McNeil at the forefront there here come Kelso now penalty's been taken quickly flat Frankie Robson's been wrapped up by a Jed player but he's managed to get it back to Parson. Parson infield Murray Woodcock's on for Kelso Woodcock to Tweedy Tweedy goes Tweedy's got Cowens Cowens beats the first Jad player Cowens beats another but he's been well tackled by Gary Munro Kelso managed to secure the ball Woodcock Kelso attacking the town end Roberts Roberts is tackled there by Kieran Hayes the two gas men and there's another penalty coming Kelso's way no advantage played there high shot deems the referee so Kelso are 10 metres or so outside the Jed 22 even Stephen here final of the Lang of 7 seven, seven points apiece take it quickly to Kelso take it and Dwayne Patterson's noticed there's no sweeper he's kicked it forward and he's claiming that he's been taken out there so on for Kelso comes Robbie Tweedy so Kelso now knocking on the Jed door young Woodcock Woodcock's powering towards the line but he's been held up just short Kelso in over that Robson's going to go route one is Robson going to get to the line no again he's held up just short Tate's in there he's got Cowens Cowens takes it now Tweedy's outside Cowens straightens and goes he feeds Tweedy and Tweedy's in for a Kelso try and that was coming Neil yeah it was uh, nice patient build up from Kelso they didn't they didn't just try and force it they waited on their opportunity and a nice over the top pass from Cowens to, to Robbie Tweedy who's come on for Dwayne and he's took a, a nice try there and I think it might be half time-ish and good time to score I don't know if it is but if it is it's a good time to score so it looks like sadly for Kelso Dwayne, pa- Dwayne Parsons is hobbling heavily Neil and it looks like his race is run sadly yeah it looks like it which is unfortunate for Kelso then looking at next week's um, his home tournament for Kelso next week they could do you know, we've already got injuries with like next Stengel, Liam Herdman that play in his position, so that'd be like, you know, three guys out in that certain and it would, you know, that'd be a big hit for Kelso. But he's still going about on it, so it might not be too serious, I don't know. Yeah, and Cami Brown's not returned either. He's gone well for Kelso this afternoon. That's a pinpoint restart. Kick off by Gary Monroe, right on the ten metre line. Kelso took it into the possession, or took Kelso took it in, but they've coughed up the possession for holding on too long, so it's a Jed penalty and they've taken it quickly up into the Kelso half and here comes Gary Monroe Gary Monroe steps and goes finds a bit of space Gary Monroe up the middle looking for his support runners back it goes though to Darren Gillespie and he weighs up the situation now he looks for a man coming short and it's the Australian James Walker now it's in the hands of Jed's fastest player Kieran Hayes back to Walker Walker flings it to Monroe playmaker to playmaker now to Lewis Young Lewis Young also a playmaker in the Jed ranks and he weighs up the options and he goes short to Darren Gillespie and that's out the back door back to Young from Darren Gillespie and if Young had taken that the chance was there but the chance has gone a begging Ian and that was an ideal opportunity for Jed to claw something back it's, there's nothing wrong with the idea it's, it's just forced that little bit you know, if it comes off it's great if it doesn't come off it's a problem so, you know, I, I just think at, at that situation there 
they've got another three or four players further out wide just yeah. build and build and build which Jed have been good at in terms of taking the time don't rush it just take your time the gaps will open it's good play by Gillespie very very impressive this afternoon the veteran but Kelso have won their own scrum and now Frankie Robson straightens and runs hard as is his want and he goes back to Tate Tate now comes to Woodcock and now to Tweedy Tweedy's off down the down the touchline that's a good tackle though by Kieran Hayes for Jerry he's got the defensive duties as well as the the pace to run in the six tries that he has and here come Kelso again however they're up into the Jed half and it's Hamish Tweedy out the back door to an on-rushing pirouetting Andy Tate and now he passes it to Cowens Cowens goes to Woodcock Woodcock's got Robbie Tweedy and Kelso have got a man over here oh and that's a good tackle on Woodcock when there was a man over and Jared managed to scramble the defence but Kelso still have it through the shape in, in the shape of Robbie Tweedy now they're trying to go route one Kelso but they're held up by Jaden Tate now goes wide to Robson Kelso have got a man over here it's Hamish Tweedy he goes out to Roberts Angus Roberts tries to round his man but he's been well defended there by Jed Jed are in with a choke tackle there what's the referee going to do here turned over oh turned over it has indeed been turned over so it's Jed's chance to go from deep here Gary Monroe signals that he's going to kick and he does exactly that and Kieran Hayes is after it Kieran Hayes has been told he's offside by the referee so he's going to have to go back until Gary Monroe so Gary Monroe's in front of Hayes now wee bit of a chance that for Jed again maybe went begging just for an offside situation so Kelso now have the ball inside their own half and there's a straightening go here from Roberts and Roberts has been hauled down but he's managed to get away to Tate and now Tate's got Murray Woodcock the youngster and Murray Woodcock heads for the corner and he's Murray Woodcock's going to be in here Murray Woodcock's gone down the near side and it's a third try for Kelso Neil Hennigan well did I say it or did I not Robin? you mentioned that he was one to watch and that's his second try Neil and you mentioned he's got a big engine but he's got a bit of pace as well yeah no he has and he's got footwork he actually plays second row in the 15 he's just up from the Harlequins this year he's had one full year he's at uh, Napier University and he's played all year in the Kelso Shark Kelso ones when we've needed him great line out option just light but Simmons would look to be his game and he's, he's gotten better as the tournaments went on just outside the 22 great defence there by Andy Tate and Lewis Walker Lewis Walker's had to f- throw it out the back door and nobody in particular and Robbie Shearer Gibbs tripped there so Jeddah back towards the halfway line and Gary Monroe tries to straighten and go and there's Kelso players coming in all over them but it's been picked up and gone by Lewis Young and he goes up the middle and he takes 10 metres or so and it goes back to Monroe Monroe's got Hayes on the near side and Hayes straightens and goes in field Kieran Hayes he's going to have to beat them all all on his own but he goes round the outside comes back from the touchline Kieran Hayes has been wrapped up by a Kelso player so he's going to have to get the ball back but he's still looking dangerous Hayes as the day goes on the ties wear on and Darren Gillespie this time feeds it to Monroe and Jed now have got a man over but Lewis Young straightens and goes great tap tackle by Kelso but he's let the ball go is he over Lewis Young yes he is Jed right back in this year yeah just good play again Um, I I, I mean again they're they're starting to commit people they're starting to commit defenders which makes a big difference again Lewis Young experiences is um, you know gets through there gets tackled but releases the ball gets back up on his feet and gets underneath the sticks so we've got a a cracking last two or three minutes coming in for this now he ran hard there Lewis Young he was full of intent and key point here is that Dwayne Patterson is back on the field for Kelso so is he 100% fit has he got enough to see out the game either way it is Kelso 17 Jed Forrest 14 not long to go here final of the final of the Langham 7s nip and tuck Jed about to kick off again in the shape of Gary Monroe so Monroe gets it back underway not exactly where he wanted it it's been taken in easily by Kelso so Frankie Robson Kelso captain he's straightening and gone Frankie Robson he's been caught just before the halfway line and he goes to Dwayne Patterson Dwayne Patterson's been wrapped up by Lewis Young and it's gone forward there but the referees deemed that that was high unbelievable unbelievable for Kelso are the Langham Simmons champions 2023 and on the back of the championship win last weekend the rapturous scenes here as the bench comes on the Kelso players are absolutely delighted and Neil Hennigan what an effort this week that is to back up last week you've come here it's been a while since you've won a tournament but you leave here with the spoils I've obviously stayed impartial the whole tournament and what a final it was I mean I think 
Jed, Akis and Kelso have brought this tournament up to date a little bit standard wise it just you know they really lifted it and it was a, for Kelso to beat that Ak, you know you have to remember Kelso's beaten uh, Melrose Aki's and Jed to win this tournament uh, you can't take that anything away from them for that way these teams are the top teams in this the uh, Kings of Sevens at the moment and have been for several years and Kelso have been pretty much nowhere for years and they've come here today after uh, winning the National 1 title last week big celebrations obviously last week they've just gotten over the drink now and uh, they've come out here with dog, heart we're not the greatest sevens team you can see that but we've got a bit of fight and it, it's, won us, it's won us it on the day So Dwayne Patterson congratulations first of all last Saturday obviously promoted as champions from National 1 back to up seven days later Langham Sevens champions you must be absolutely over the moon Yeah 100% it's, it's been a not bad uh, fortnight um, but no coming up here today I think we had two sessions through the week there are first proper sevens, seven sessions obviously because we've been focusing on that uh, National 1 campaign but now nah, the boys miss, missing a couple boys just through injury this week but it wouldn't look like it today the boys dug in every game especially in that semi-final to go to golden score and uh, dig through in the end but uh, no what a feeling I was going to say you've you done it the hard way today Melrose Aki's second semi-final extra time than Jed in the final it wasn't easy no not at all and there's some quality sides out there Melrose, Melrose are always a well drilled side and uh, they, they pushed us today um, but I think just the, the want from our boys and we've said it all season we've won the league we'd say from just that work rate and defence and it, I think today it's, it's just shown again just the want to play for the badge and play for, play for the black and white that says a lot about the, the, what must be a lot of character in this team to, to go from last weekend and the celebrations to get back into it this weekend was it, was it difficult in any way to get yourself back up? Um, I wouldn't say difficult but I think just the buzz is kind of flowing through the whole club and it just kind of bounces on to the seventh season as well you know the Quins are running well I think they've won a couple of tournaments at the start of their seventh campaign or uh, the Sharks went undefeated in their, their 15th campaign so the club's in a, it's in a great place just now it's just really enjoyable to be part of it and you're the fifth different winner out of five tournaments so far this season six different winners if you include Melrose yeah. it, it really has opened the Kings this season isn't it? Oh 100% it, it just shows how competitive the, the, the Sevens is down here and how much everyone loves it and buys into it and it is great you know the crowds today it's not been the best of days but it's still been a, a really well attended event and uh, no credit to Langham it's been a good day and from a personal perspective player of the tournament congratulations you came off in the final there looked like a wee bit of a sore one or any any doubt about next weekend? Um, uh, ho hopefully not. I think it'll just be. I think it was a knee on knee and a wee collision there. Um, but ho fingers crossed, it'll just be a it'll just be a wee knock and we go again next week at Kelso. And of course, it is your own tournament next week, and you'll be looking for a for a big crowd down to that. I would imagine it's going to be a sort of celebratory atmosphere, given everything that's happened in the last few days. No, definitely. I, I think it will be. But we've just we've still got to do our work and uh, go out there and perform. And and the boys, well, they'll be they'll be really up for it. Just. There's, there's no better feeling than playing in that Kelsey Sevens when everyone comes out the marquee cheering you on it is, it is really good well congratulations again a great seven days well done thank you very much cheers